What is up guys? We are back today for another live in the UU Alpha tier. Made a little team that's got no new Pokemon on it, unfortunately, but I uh, really wanted to try out a couple of sets. Uh, mainly Life Orb, Superior, and uh, Quiver Dance, Volcarona. I feel like they have a lot of viability in the tier. Uh, I have uh, Hidden Power Rock on Superior for Charizard Y. We are Fly D Knight, uh, Defensive Starmie with Rapid Spin. Scarf Rachi with Rocks, because I love my Scarf Rockers. Uh, and then Modest Specs. Um, Magneton, uh, Magneton, excuse me, right here. So let's get a game. Let's see how well we can do with this team. Uh, I've been trying it out a little bit. It's been doing pretty well. I actually do not know where I am on the UU ladder. Let's check that out real quick. Uh, and if I look over here, uh, we're 14.15. Where is that? Where is 14.15? It is right here. <laughs> 45th on the ladder. Not bad. All right. Let's do it. Let's try to get top 10 today. How about that? Um, we're probably not gonna be able to do that <laughs> because top 10 is 1502 unless I get a crazy amount of points from a certain game I might make it a longer live and try to make it top 10 today uh, if we keep getting wins then I'll keep going until we uh, until we actually make it to top 10 we'll see you'll you'll probably know by the length of the video that we made it but uh, may, or or not uh, we could just like lose the last game but anyway uh, I'm actually gonna pause it guys because it's taken quite a while to find a game and we will be right back Alright guys, we got one, my opponent has a very curious team, uh, there's not too much offense on it from what I can see, like there's Swellow and maybe Conkelder, other than that, like it's a very, uh, underwhelming team to say the least, I like the Golduck for, uh, for Charizard Y, that's really cool, kinda seems like a very, uh, bulky offense team, uh, let's see what we can do, I see that he doesn't have a ground type, so I'm actually gonna lead off with my Magneton right here, as he leads off with his Swellow, I fully expect a Heat Wave coming my way, uh, so what I'm actually going to do is switch out into Starmie here. I don't want to stay in on this thing. Uh, it's going to blow me back with a Heat Wave. He's actually going to pull a switch out into his Conkelder, surprisingly enough. And that's going to give me a uh, free Psy Shock, essentially. Unless he goes for Knock Off, then I'm pretty much dead. Uh, but let's just go for the Psy Shock. Let's get some heavy damage off on this Conkelder. He does go for the Knock. That is going to knock us out. However, uh, we can now go out into our Superior and fire off a Leaf Storm and knock this thing out because he is Flame Orb. Uh, it's going to do a lot of damage to pretty much anything, uh, including Tenac uh, Tenacruel, yeah. Uh, we have Hidden Power Rock for the Arcanine if he decides to switch that in. Um, but I don't really want to stay in on his Arcanine, to be perfectly honest. I think D-Knight is a perfect switch uh, to that, except for Will-O-Wisp. There's always that, so got to watch out. But I don't think he would go for it against my team. It doesn't make a lot of sense. Um, I'm not going to switch Jirachi into an Arcanine, and he can't burn my Volcarona. So uh, let's see what my opponent does. Uh, we'll... We'll play it from there, but Conkelder was a, uh, a decent switch for him because he is, of course, Guts, so uh, he's taking quite some time. Let's start the timer on this, man. See what we can do. Yeah, I like this superior set, man. It's really cool. It's uh, it's extremely offensive. It, uh, it Oko's uh, Charizard Y at plus one, uh, plus two, excuse me. Even, probably even plus one uh, if I bring this up here. Uh, HP Rock. I calced it before, so that's why I still have it open. Let's just do this. Move that over, and uh, we'll get that out of the way. And if I do plus one, for some reason, if I'm ever at plus one, uh, HP Rock still kills because of the Life Orb, so. Kelder is uh, taking its sweet time going for a move right here. Um, my opponent has 120 seconds left. I guess I'm going to have to pause it again, unfortunately, guys. We will be right back. All right, guys, and uh, my opponent allowed his Conkelder to go down, which is awesome. Uh, the problem is I do not have a good uh, Swallow switch in at this point. What is it? What is this coming up here? Uh, I do not have a good Swallow switch in at this point. It's very, very scary. Um, I mean, he does have to land a Heat Wave if he goes for that, but, like, I don't have a switch in a Boom Burst either. <laughs> like, Jirachi's not a switch and it's going to get three hit KO'd. Uh, so the next time I try to switch it in, it's dead, essentially. I need to get up my rocks, like, ASAP, and then trap his Fortress and just get rid of it. His Rapid Spinner could be Tentacruel, but I need to get my Magneton in more often as well against his slower Pokemon, like these two. I didn't go into it there on his Conkelder because I couldn't risk the Mach Punch. Whereas uh, Superior can actually, excuse me, uh, Superior can actually take a Mach Punch. So, yeah, my, my opponent's taking quite a while for each one of his plays. This is uh, it's getting a little ridiculous. Um, gonna have to pause it again, guys. We'll be back. All right, so my opponent finally, uh, with 40 seconds left, decides to go out into Arcanine. Um, I can pretty much switch in Dragonite, I believe, uh, and that's exactly what I'm gonna do. This thing still has some viability against his Golduck and his Tentacruel, so he's going to go for Flare Blitz. It's not going to do much at all. Luckily, he doesn't get a burn. That's that's really nice. Uh, and we are going to go for the Substitute right here. Uh, hopefully, he doesn't have Speed Investment and goes for a, uh, a Will-O-Wisp. If he does have Speed Investment, I don't see him being, um, you know, being a Will-O-Wisp set to begin with. And 
what's cool about this uh, Dragon Knight set is that it actually completely walls Fortress. Like, it can just keep setting up subs and roosting on it. Uh, he actually goes for a Z-move, which is Gigavolt Havoc, uh, which is going to do a good amount, but not enough. Um, he has Wild Charge as well, so I'm just going to go for a Dragon Dance here. As he goes for E-Speed, damages my sub, but is not able to break it. And we're going to go for Roost. Uh, he's probably going to E-Speed again, thinking that I'm going to knock him out on this turn. Uh, he's going to break my sub with the next uh, E-Speed for sure, but then I'm going to get to go for a Roost, so that's all good. All fine and dandy. Uh, I, can't th I can't think that his Tentacruel would have Haze. Uh, I can't see that. Let's see what he does. We are faster than... We're not faster than Swallow yet, actually. We're only uh, 381 at the moment. So that might be something I adjust, like give it two more speed points. Uh, because it is a Yu-Yu-Mon now, so it doesn't necessarily need all this defense. Uh, it's very nice, but if I do this and bring it down to 108 and then bring this up to 148, now I would be able to outspeed Weavile, which is really cool. So, yeah, at plus one. Uh, and, like, Swallow and things like that. Basically, base 125s, I believe. Yeah, base 125s at plus one. That's really nice. Um, what else does it outspeed? With 256 speed, it can outspeed base, what, seven, uh, 65, seven, uh, 60s at max speed? I guess 60s. Uh, not 70s, because 70s hit two, uh, 262. But, uh, yeah, once again, my opponent taking a lifetime to make a play. I think he must be at work or something. I'm going to pause it again, guys. Be back. All right, so he went for E-Speed, uh, and we are able to go for the Roost right there. Uh, I'm just going to go for another sub here. If he goes for Wild Charge, he's going to be wearing himself down. Uh, and if he lets me get back into scale as well, then his Boom Burst will not uh, destroy me, which is nice. Uh, as well, I, I need one more Dragon Dance up so that Swallow can't outspeed me. I might just do that now, actually. Yeah, let's go for another D-Dance. Um, because I think that this thing is fully offensive and it doesn't have... Like, it probably has Morning Sun uh, for the recoil from Flare Blitz and Wild Charge. We should be fine, though. Um, I love how little his, uh, his Gigavolt Havoc did. Like, 45%. <laughs> That's so bad. That's a base 160 attack. And it, uh, it did nothing. Uh, it's, uh, it's in part due to being resisted, I think. Wait, what? Hold on a second. No, it's not resisted. It's neutral, of course. My opponent has 10 seconds left. He's really not uh, here at all. So um, I think we're just going to get the, the forfeit win here or the uh, inactivity win. Yep, there we go. And that is ours. And sorry for that lame game, guys, uh, on the first one. But I'm going to pause it because we had trouble getting a last one, and we will be right back. All right, guys, and we got one, and this looks like a much more serious team. Uh, scary, even, I would say. Uh, this is a very, very difficult team for me to deal with. Um... I don't have a great lead for Charizard, except for Dragonite. Uh, yeah, let's go, let's go with Dragonite. Why does this guy say wow? <laughs> I, don't, I didn't get that, but anyway. Uh, we're going to go for a substitute here, because with my scale, uh, he can't do much to me. So, and he might be fearing a choice banded Dragonite as well, so he might want to just directly switch into either his Metagross or his, uh, his Tentacruel. I'm just going to go for a sub, scare this thing out, maybe then go for a fly. We'll see, but uh, this thing is always a pretty good switch into Charizard, so... I want to see what his play is. Weavile is a huge threat to me as well. He's just going to Mega Evolve. He's going to go for the Hidden Power Ice, I assume. Uh, that did some good damage, actually. Uh, I'm going to go for the Dragon Dance. And uh, on the following turn, we're going to go for a Roost. Because uh, we are now faster than his Charizard. And uh, yeah, we'll, we'll do that. His Hidden Power Ice is uh, not going to do that much. It's only going to do 45. And if we get back up to scale, then we're absolutely fine. Uh, I'm actually going to go for a... Yeah, I'm going to go for another Roost. It's fine. His Hidden Power Ice is going to do a lot less, uh, as you can see right there. And uh, then we can actually just go for a Fly. Uh, my opponent keeps saying, wow, I'm really not sure why. And uh, this Fly is going to do a decent amount of damage to something. It is a plus one Fly from a Dragonite. It's essentially Choice Banded. Uh, not with max attack, of course, but a Tentacruel is not going to take this well. Uh, it's going to take 55 from that. And we're just going to go for a Sub right here. I don't know how he would break my Sub, except maybe with Sludge Wave. Uh, acid Spray is not going to do it. And my opponent forfeits, so we get another win right there. Uh, Fly Knight coming through. Uh, 1440, where is that? Let's see, let's X out of there. 1440 is uh, 30th place, so let's keep going. Doing pretty well in UU. This team has been uh, carrying me through, actually. Uh, it's been doing very, very well. I'm, uh, I'm very happy about it. It's, it's not got switch-ins to anything, but, I mean, that's offense for you. 
Starmie is the only real switch into anything, and I guess you can count D Knight if it's a Charizard Y. That's kind of why I wanted uh, Dragonite, because it's like the perfect switch into Charizard Y. I don't know why he's running Hidden Power Ice. I don't know what that's supposed to hit in the tier. Uh, I can't think of anything specifically. Maybe Salamence? But then again, Scarf Salamence destroys you. Uh, there's Yachi Salamence, which is the thing. So, I don't know. I don't know how I, f how I feel about Hidden Power Ice. Uh, Charizard Y. I really don't. I like Ancient Power. Ancient Power is really cool because it catches opposing Charizard Y off guard. Um, another scary team. Uh, flying. <laughs> things off the ground. Here we go. Uh, five. <laughs> Keldeo is the only thing sitting on the floor. Um, I like Jirachi as a lead because it outspeeds his, uh, his uh, potential as elf lead as well as High Dragon. So let's do that. Let's lead off with Jirachi. Uh, he's going to lead off with Azelf. I'm going to go straight for the Iron Head, try to get a flinch, prevent this thing from getting up rocks. That's the uh, that's the plan, as he does go for a taunt, actually. We revealed to be Scarfed, so I don't expect him to stay in. Uh, I fully expect Keldeo to come out here. So let's go for... Actually, I have a, I have a switch into Keldeo, so I'm fine. He goes for the uh, switch. Obviously, he's going to take 21% on this Keldeo. He is uh, leftover, so I have to keep that in mind. That's actually pretty scary. Uh, I'm going to go hard into Starmie, because Starmie takes any hit, pretty much. As he goes for a substitute... Uh, we will be able to just go for the Psy Shock right here uh, and knock out his sub. As he goes for a, sacred, a Secret Sword, that's not going to do too much, luckily. And I fully uh, expect the switch out into High Dragon right here. Uh, so what I'm going to do is double back out into my Jirachi. As he pulls the switch into Azelf, actually, which is awesome. And I'm going to get up my rocks, because he knows I'm Scarfed, so this is perfectly fine. And uh, there we go. Awesome. So we get up our Stealth Rocks. Yes, yeah, Scarfed Rocks, my friend. Scarfed Rocks. Uh, let's go hard into Starmie here, I think, is my play. Absolutely. And uh, Hydreigon's looking like the biggest threat on my opponent's team. It can knock out pretty much any member uh, on my side with the right coverage. As he's going to double out into his Azelf. Okay, cool. Uh, I think a Scald knocks this out from here. Potentially. Uh, either way, Scald into Rapid Spin should do it. But Scald is going to finish off the Azelf, so no rocks for my opponent, which is awesome. Uh, I fully expect the Hydreigon to come in here. There it is. Uh, I don't have a switch into this thing, but I need to keep Starmie. So I have to pick a sack. Um, let's see. What don't I need on my team? Probably Magneton. Because it doesn't trap anything. And it's not faster than anything. So I'm going to let Magneton go down. That looks like potentially Specs damage. Uh, because I didn't see a Life Orb. Let's actually just calc that real quick. Uh, I'm pretty sure Magneton dies either way. But uh, let's see. Hydreigon. Uh, choice Specs. Dark Pulse. If he's not Specs, then I don't think he knocks me out. No, he never knocks me out. Okay. So that's definitely Specs. We know that much. Um, which means that he's not Scarfed. Which is really good for us, actually. Because I can just go hard into Superior here. And I could even just get off a Glare on something. Which is exactly what I'm going to do. I'm just going to go for a Glare. As he lets me Glare his High Dragon. So, so now it's faster, uh, slower than everything. Um, which is awesome. We're going to go for the Dragon Pulse right here. Knock this down pretty low. Uh, get it in range of potentially... I'm not sure, actually. Um, well, definitely Jirachi's U-turn. Let's just go for the U-turn. It's a safe play. We're able to knock out the Hydreigon. And what's the worst thing that would happen if I were to bring in Starmie? Latias would come in and... Let's go into Volcarona, because our rocks are up. If he goes into Keldeo, which is what he should be uh, pressured into, uh, is going... Okay, Aerodactyl works too, actually. Yeah, that's true. Let's go, Rachi. We can take a rock move. And, uh... I have to find the right opportunity to start setting up Dragonite. He's going to go for the Wing Attack, which is going to do absolutely nothing to us. And I'm actually just going to go for the Iron Head here. Because if he stays in, then he loses his Aerodactyl. If he switches out into Keldeo, I have a good switch in Starmie. So, it's all good. There we go. Able to get that off. And uh, we are just going to go hard into Starmie. This Keldeo is just getting weakened gradually, so that's nice. He's going to go for the Secret Sword. Uh, I see a Scald switch in. But then again, if that thing gets burned, that's really bad for him. Uh, I'm going to go for the Scald right here. He's actually going to stay in with his Keldeo and just Secret Sword again. That's fine. I mean, I don't know if he's trying to weaken me or what, but uh, I am just going to go for another Scald right here because he should know that Psy Shock knocks him out. No, I guess he doesn't. Um, he just keeps going for Secret Sword. Not sure why. I have Recover, so you're not getting anywhere, bro. Um, there we go, and we're going to Psy Shock right here and knock out his Keldeo. Cool, so now we don't need Star Me anymore. As he's going to go out into Aerodactyl, Big threat again. I don't want to switch in my Dur uh, Jirachi directly because if he goes for a an Earthquake right here, that could be bad. So I'm just going to go for Scald. Uh, as he does go for the Earthquake, beautiful. So we are able to knock out the Aerodactyl right there. 
Uh, like I said, Starmie's only job was to uh, wall Keldeo. I wouldn't have made that prediction because Starmie's completely useless for the rest of the game, so that was kind of weird on my opponent's part. Uh, I'm just going to go hard into Jirachi on this thing. If he goes for HP Fire, then great play, but I don't expect it. If anything, maybe Defog right here. Uh, he's actually just going to go for Psy Shock. That's great. Uh, he's probably Soul Do. Do I just go for the Iron Head? Um, no, I'm going to go for U-Turn because it gets off damage on this. And he brings in a Staraptor, which is awesome. Uh, we are going to now sack off Starmie. Uh, if this thing is Scarfed... Hmm. Actually, let's go into D-Knight. Because what D-Knight allows me to do is Roost. And if he Brave Birds me, if he's Scarfed and he Brave Birds me, not even if he's Scarfed, he's just going to be taking Recoil. So this is essentially GG right here. We're going to Roost... Uh, we're actually going to sub this time as he goes for another Brave Bird, which is fine. And then we're going to go for the DD. Uh, actually, no, we're going to sub up again uh, I'm gonna roost actually he's gonna brave bird he might knock me out with the next one um, I don't think he will actually so I'm gonna go for the dragon dance let's see he does not get the crit so now he's gonna go down to recoil we're gonna get off this dragon dance right here and if he shows to be scarfed Latias which I don't think he would be because we outsped him with Jirachi uh, then that's fine too we're gonna go for the fly right here um, I'm I, this game is sealed up pretty much uh, he is scarfed he is scarfed, Latias. Okay, awesome. So we can just go into Jirachi and spam Iron Head at this point. Uh, he is going to hit us with the Psy Shock first. And we are going to get off a lot more damage on him and say GG in the chat. And uh, there goes his Latias. So uh, that's another win for us. We're at uh, 1451, uh, which puts us where? We're not going up too fast. UU Alpha. Uh, 1451, we are 27th. You know what? Let's get one more. I'm going to keep it to a short episode, actually, because we're getting a lot of wins really fast. Watch me lose this one. I would not be surprised. All right. Let's see what we can do. This team is working out. <laughs> like, I'm actually really surprised. I just built this really quickly. I was like, okay, let me use uh, Superior, Hidden Power Rock. Uh, Superior destroys everything because it's faster than everything in the tier except for Weavile. Uh, and then uh, Magneton to trap the Steel types because I'm not running Hidden Power Fire. Uh, Magneton doesn't struggle against too much. Um, that's slower than it, so that's good. It gets off a lot of dam damage on walls because it specs. Even like Tangro takes 50 from Volt Switch. Uh, then we have Jirachi, Choice Scarf. Nothing gets uh, likes getting Iron Head flinched. And then I it stumbled upon Dragonite, and that was just like, oh my god, this thing is amazing. <laughs> it was it was so good. But yeah, that's um, that's how I built the team <laughs> basically. And then I knew I needed Hazard Removal because I wanted to use Volcarona, and Dragonite was also. Uh, pretty important so it's like having it scale intact i almost always successfully spin with starmie uh, i don't see enough people running delmize and decidueye like those are the those are two of the best spin blockers in the tier right now uh because they are able to take on uh, a lot of the good spinners such as starmie so really surprised about that but yeah um let me pause it one more time guys and we will get to our final game of the life all right, guys, we got our final game right here. Uh, my opponent's got a, a much more interesting team. Um, he's got an Araquanid, which I do not have a switch to on my team. Uh, Starmie is okay, but it gets bug stab. Uh, he's also got the Scizor. Yeah, this is a really, really scary team. I don't know how I'm going to deal with this, actually. Um, he's got two ground types, which I don't do too well against. Huh. Let's see. Let's lead off with Jirachi, because it's our best lead overall. He leads off with Tornadus. Stealth Rocks are really nice this game for these three and then just like everything takes neutral damage on his team I really just want to click rocks <laughs> Yeah, let's do it. Let's click rocks as he goes for the heat wave. I'll take it. You know what as long as he doesn't burn me It's fine. Uh, we'll go into Starmie right here. Let's see him. Let's see the knockoff. No air slash. Okay uh, Which means you probably don't have any physical attacks, right? Let's go for recover unless it's u-turn, but you're not life orb Wait, why is he running Air Slash and Hurricane? What the heck? Okay. Anyway, um, let's go into... Huh. D-Knight's looking really nice right about now. Let's go for the Dragon Dance. He goes for the... Okay, so he did have U-Turn. Okay, we're leftover, so we're back in scale. This is really good. As he goes down into Gliscor. Awesome. Okay, we're going to go for the uh, Substitute right here. He probably can't touch us. As he goes for the sub of his own. Yay. All right. Let's go for another D-Dance. And start wrecking this thing. <laughs> As he goes for a Swords Dance. Okay. Does he even have anything to hit me with, though? Let's just go for Fly. As he goes for a Baton Pass. Okay. So we're going to break whatever comes in sub automatically. And we're faster than everything on his team. 
So that's really, really good. I'm really happy I went for Fly on that turn. He's going to go into Scizor. Yeah, this is not going to take this too well, bro. Uh, and this doesn't outspeed me either. So let's go for the Fly. It's probably going to break my sub with something. I don't know what, but... Um, no, I, like, I can't think of anything that would break my sub. Like, a bullet Punch, he can't hit me right now. Is he going to go for another SD? Is he, is, does this thing get agility? Like, <laughs> am, I, am I missing something? I'm pretty sure Scizor is 2-hit KO'd by plus 2 fly. Like, easily. This is going to do like 60 to 70. <laughs> Let's see what he does. He might be banded. I don't know. But uh, I do want to break his sub first. And he just allowed me to, to potentially sweep him with D-Knight. Which is really nice. As he's going to go for the Defog. Alright then. <laughs> um, I'm just going to go for a fly again. He's going to go for the bullet punch to break my sub. Which is okay, because I'm still in scale. And we'll go for the fly right here. Uh, he did get rid of the rocks, which is uh, a little bit annoying. But he's going to take a lot of damage from that. And he's going to go for the U-turn, which doesn't really accomplish anything for him. Uh, because essentially... All I have to do is just spam Roost against the Aerodactyl. He actually goes into Araquanid, uh, which is going to die to a fly. <laughs> so I don't understand this play at all. He's going to go for the Liquidation, which is, of course, going to miss. And then he's going to go for Protect. Oh, okay, I see you, I see you. Uh, in that case, uh, I'm going to go for a Dragon Dance uh, right here, because I don't fear this thing at all. As he goes for a Liquidation, that's going to do 10. Uh, he's going to lower my defense, though. Okay, uh, I'm going to go for the... Huh... He has, how many protects does this thing have? 15? Alright, so it has more than I have flies. But, 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 um, I mean, we should be fine. He's gonna go for Toxic, okay. I'm gonna hit him up with the fly as he protects. And we are going to go for a substitute right here. Actually, uh, because he can't break that right now. Okay, apparently he can while I'm out of scale. Wow, uh, this thing is strong. Let's go for the fly again. As he goes for another, another liquidation. Is he going to go for the toxic? No, he goes for another protect. Okay, that's fine. Uh, like, I have enough flies uh, to, to really dent his team. So it doesn't really matter to me. I'm going to go for another one right here. Just so I can get back into scale. Uh, and that I can take his uh, his liquidations. Um, but then again, I don't really want to take a toxic. So he's actually gonna, not going to protect on that turn for whatever reason. I'm really not sure why. I guess he misclicked. That's a really anticlimactic last battle. Yeah, we're not using that as the last one. Nah, nah, we're not doing that. I'm not I'm not letting you guys down like that. You guys, you guys want to see better games than that. This has been a really bad life. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Uh, we're right here. We're 20th, right here at the bottom. Uh, as soon as I get, a, a, like, 12 points, I jump up to, like, 16th or 17th. So, yeah, we're doing... Uh, I played this guy earlier, and I beat him twice. <laughs> this guy's running, like, this, this really weird uh, sun team with nine tails, even though Charizard Y is available in the tier. He's got, like, Weakness Policy, Entei. It's really weird. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Uh, I hope we get him, actually. I hope he's still playing right now. That'd be cool. But anyway, we're gonna pause it until we get one, guys. We'll be right back. All right, guys, and we got one against an opposing Volcarona. Ooh, this should be interesting. All right. Let's see. Uh, I actually really, really like Magneton as a lead because he doesn't have a ground type. And I can always switch Starmie into his Terrakion if it's going for close combat. Also, he doesn't know if I'm scarfed. Um, so yeah, let's just uh, let's lead off with Magneton in case he leads off with Scizor for whatever reason. He does lead with Terrakion, so I guess it's a lead. Uh, <laughs> that's that's um, the under understatement of the year right there. I guess it's a lead. Uh, he goes for close combat. Starmie's able to eat that up. Uh, lowers his own defenses in the process. And uh, I'm just going to go for a Scald right here. I know he's not going to want to take it. Um, he's probably scarfed, I'm thinking. Uh, he made a nice play just going for close combat straight away, turn one. I didn't really have a great switch into that, so. Uh, he's going to go into Latias, that's fine. Going to get off some chip. He's left over, so Draco shouldn't kill us at all. We're just going to go for the uh, uh, Scald. <laughs> just Scald again. I don't know what happened with my mouth there. But, uh, yeah, his, his Draco Meteor cannot kill us if he's, le if he's left over. It's not doing anything to us. Also, we're faster. I considered recovering. I was like, wait, what? I'm faster than this thing. I'm going to attempt to get a burn on it to nullify its, uh, its leftovers. And can I sweep with D-Knight is the question. The answer is yes, but I need to get rid of Scizor and put his Rotom at about 80%. Which he's going to bring in on my Scald and bring it down to 81%, which is awesome. Uh, now, the Volt Switch is imminent. I do not have a uh, Ground-type on my team, unfortunately. 
However, Superior is relatively safe because I do have the Hidden Power Rock for his Volcarona. He's actually going to go for T-Bolt, which is uh, not great because he paralyzed me. Uh, but I'm just going to go for a Glare here because I get to Glare something. And I think he's choice. He, he goes into Volcarona and slows it down, which means I can hit him with Hidden Power Rock now. So let's do that. Let's just go for Hidden Power Rock. We crippled his Volcarona, which is amazing. Uh, he might have Healing Wish on his, uh, on his Latias, which is why I just want to hit this thing right away. Uh, and also, this thing can't do too much to, to D-Knight. So, I'm really glad it's paralyzed, though. That's awesome. Uh, he doesn't know what kind of Serp I am, either. So, we're gonna hit him with the, the HP Rock and do a lot. As he goes for Fire Blast and knocks us out, which is fine. Uh, now I get to go out into Magneton, actually. And just click Volt Switch, because we are faster now that he's paralyzed. Unless he's Scarfed. In which case, he got me, but... Uh, no, if he was Scarfed, he would've still outsped Serp. So, we know he's not. Um, this old switch is gonna do a lot to something. It's gonna be the Rotom. Uh, it's gonna take 17 only, actually. Uh, right, he quad resisted. That makes sense. I'm gonna go into uh, Jirachi now and start the uh, Volt Turning Core. Here we go. Let's go for the U-turn. This this was the idea of the team actually. I didn't mention it, but the idea was to create a Volt Turning Core uh, to get into Superior or Volcarona or D Knight, and uh, that seems to have worked out pretty well. As he's going to go for a Volt Switch of his own, that's only going to do 27 to us, revealing that he is not Specs, because that would have done way more. And uh, I'm expecting the Terrakion to want to come in here. However, I will not switch out on this, because I do not need my Magneton anymore. Uh, not necessarily, anyway. Yeah, let's just go for Volt Switch. He goes for Stealth Rock. Sweet. Okay, cool. We're able to get off a of Volt right there, and we are going to go hard into Starmie, and I'm not even thinking about it. I'm just going for Scald. I'm not clicking Rapid Spin yet because I was ready to sack off my Magneton. He just lost a potential Sash on his uh, Terrakion, which is awesome. Uh, if he goes for U-turn right here, that is absolutely fine. Like I said before, Magneton was already a sack. He goes for Pursuit, though. Wow. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's banded, though. Huh. So we get to trap this, right? And go for... We don't have... We don't have Switch into Terrakion anymore. <laughs> that's kind of scary. Um, Because that thing just wins, I think. Well, I have a Scarf Jirachi, I should be okay. Let's, um... I really just want to Volt, <laughs> because... I'm th I think I'm slower than this, actually. I really just want to Volt, though, because I don't want to be in with this. That's the thing. Yeah, let's just Volt Switch. Okay, good. I was, I was afraid he wouldn't die for some reason. <laughs> I was like, oh no, <laughs> what have I done? Uh, Blastoise should be his Switch here. However, if he ever he leaves in his Blastoise against my Jirachi, like, I just click, uh, I just go into Magneton on the U-turn, uh, and I get a kill, basically. Something's gonna die to Thunderbolt, essentially. Um, now, if he was sashed on his, uh, Terrakion, then that means that if this thing ever goes for Draco Meteor, this Latias right, uh, right here, I can go into Volcarona, set up, and win, because he has a zero priority on his team, uh, and I have Giga Drain on my Volcarona, which I don't think you guys have gotten to see yet, actually. Um, I want to keep setup fodder, uh, potentially, so yeah, I'm going to go for the uh, I'm gonna go for the Iron Head right here. We're going to weaken this Latias a little bit, and I really want to switch in Magneton right here, predicting the Blastoise to want to come in. Uh, I, don't think, I don't know if it's worth it, though. Let's go for another Iron Head. We'll flinch him down one more time. And he might switch here, I'm not sure. Hmm. The thing is, Dragonite can set up on his Blastoise, so I'm not concerned. He goes into Volcarona, actually. Good play because he has the chance to get the Flame Body, but he does not get it. Awesome. So, unfortunately, that's one of our uh, setup targets gone. He goes into Blastoise, though, which is awesome. Uh, this thing is his Mega. Oh. Wait a minute. That's bad. No, it's not a Mega. Okay. Wow, I was really, really worried about that being his Mega. Uh, I don't know why it's not, but anyway. We're just going to Iron Head this thing, uh, try to get it low. He just keeps breaking through and scalding me, and now he burns me, which is a little bit annoying because that's going to limit my survivability. We're going to go into Magneton, actually, uh, and then just fire off a Thunderbolt. Somebody messaged me and said my team looks dope. Thanks, man. Thank you. There we go, and uh, we'll go directly into Magneton because I still need Jirachi, as he's going to double out into his Latias. Very good play. Uh, however, however, um, I'm just going to Flash Cannon, and he's, as he's going to go for a Calm Mind. I don't know if you live this. You do, okay. You have Recover, right? 
you for sure have recover. There's no doubt in my mind. We have to try to get a spit F drop, guys, or a crit. Let's see if we get it. Nope. Uh, can we crit him here or spit F drop him, force him to roost again? No. All right. Cool. And uh, okay, we did get the spit F drop. That's good. Uh, he should go for another calm mind here. There it is. And uh, we. This is a losing battle right now. This is a very much a losing battle. <laughs> Um, yeah, I just have to keep going for Flash Cannon, I think, and keep trying to, uh, he actually goes for another Calm Mind, uh, risking me switching out into Jirachi, potentially, or even, oh, hold on a second, I gotta remember that I have Healing Wish, but I don't have Hazard Removal anymore, unfortunately, alright, um, yeah, this sucks, this really sucks, we gotta keep going for Flash Cannon, there's nothing else I can do. Uh, I gotta keep trying to crit him, getting spit F drops, something. He's gonna keep going for Roost, that's his best play, actually. He's playing very well right now. Uh, he, he can knock me out right now. I don't know what he's trying to do by going for more Calm Minds, but anyway. Um, he has a potential to get crit by Rachi and flinch down, so. And if I have E-Speed on my Dragonite, like, that could be really bad for him. He's just gonna keep going for Roost, like, I, I would start attacking now. But anyway. Um, he's gonna go for sub. Okay, so he's sub Calm Mind. Huh. Alright, so he got up enough, uh, enough Calm Minds to be able to set up a sub freely. Okay, but what do you have as an attacking move? Like, you, do you only have stored power? I'm assuming. He's gonna go for another sub, that's fine. As, uh, I'm expecting a roost here. Um, he's down to, he still has 11 roosts, so really doesn't change anything. He's gonna go for Psy Shock, he's gonna knock us out. Uh, now what I have to do is I have to go into Jirachi. I knew I would lose a game. I gotta go for U-turn. And, uh, we gotta go out into... Actually, hold on a second. This thing might be defensive. Uh, I'm thinking it is. So, do I play for the crit on with Volcarona? With the bug buzz? Or do I play for the... Uh, the crit with the fly. The, the fly's not gonna kill. Alright, so what's better against him in general? Um, either way, rocks are up. I'm going to sack D-Knight. I think I lose this game regardless, so... He's going to go for a sub. Yeah, that's fine. We're going to go for the... Uh, we're going to go for the fly. Maybe we're faster. No, nope, we're not. And there goes Dragonite. And we will go into Jirachi and fire off an Iron Head. Essentially die to the Psy Shock right here. And... Uh, I still think he's defensive. I don't think he's max speed, but this is a really good Latias set. And we're not we're not even able to break the sub. Wow. I'm going into Volcarona, and that's going to be GG, unfortunately. You know, for bug, bug Buzz, it's going to go through the sub if we're faster. But uh, unless we crit, we're not knocking him out. And even if we do, uh, which we don't, I should have gone into this a lot earlier. I would have saved myself the game because I had Healing Wish on Jirachi. But uh, that's going to be game. Unfortunately, we lose that one. We drop to 1443. We lose 27 points for losing. That's insane. Uh, but Zard Y is meh. You got any teams you mind passing? Yeah, sure, man. Yeah, sure. Hold up. Let me finish recording. Anyway, guys, that's going to uh, wrap it up for this one. If you guys did enjoy, make sure to leave a like down below. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I will catch you guys later. Ciao!